Hi, I'm Sean McGivern with Kansas City, Kansas Community College. Um, today in this segment, we're going to show you just a basic wall layout that has a door opening in it. And some, the basic tools you need for this project are you definitely need your speed square for layout purposes. Uh, sometimes you may need a framing square, okay? Blade side, tongue side. Make sure you remember that. Blade side, tongue side. And then your tape measure. That shows 16 inches on center. So every, on this tape measure, every red mark is 16 inches on center. 16 plus 16 is 32, and so on. There's 48, okay? So we need that to start out with. Now, I mentioned to you that we're going to lay out a wall that has a door opening in it, okay? In this scenario, the door is going to, the door itself is going to be a three-foot door, so that'd be called a 3-0 door or a 36-inch door. So what I'm going to do is first find the length of my wall that I need it, and in this case, it is eight foot, so it's 96 and a quarter. So what I'm going to do is find center of 96 and a quarter and mark that. So I'm going to pull from that same end and mark half of 96 and a quarter, okay, which is going to be 4 foot and 1 eighth or 48 and 1 eighth, and I'm going to mark that. Then I'm going to square that line using my speed square, square that line and mark it CL, which is center line, so I know what that mark is. Now, as I proceed on, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out my door opening. For every door opening, if we're going to put a door here, which is a 3-foot door or a 36-inch door, I need to add 2 inches for the rough opening so I can actually physically fit my door in this opening. So now my rough opening becomes 38 inches. Then I have a header that has to sit above every door, every window. So I have to lay out my header as well, and I'll show you that. So first, we're going to mark our rough opening. That's very important. So what I do is, as I told you, we have a 3-0 door. We're adding 2 inches. So 36 equals the 3-0 door. 36 inches plus 2 inches is 38. Now what I need to do is take half of 38, which is 19 inches, and put that on my center line. So I'm going to put 19 inches on my center line. Then I'm going to mark one end of my tape measure with a crow's foot and the other end at 38 inches. Okay, so now we marked our door opening, which is 38 inches. Okay? So what I'm going to do now is set up my framing that goes around my door. What I need to do first is mark each side of my opening, okay, and know that this is the edge of my door. I cannot, I cannot condense this opening anymore. I'm going to build it out, never in, because I got to have the 38 inches in the clear. So what I do is I use my speed square, and this speed square so happens to be an inch and a half thick on the right side of my speed square right here, inch and a half thick. Dimensional lumber is, or two by lumber, so a two by four, two by six, the two is an inch and a half thick. So therefore, I can properly mark a stud location using just this speed square. So I will mark the first stud that goes right next to the door opening, which is called a jack stud. That's what sits underneath the header. Then the next stud that is adjacent to the jack stud is called a king stud. And I'm going to mark this on both sides of my door. So I marked jack and king over there. I'm going to mark jack. That sits right next to my door opening. And then I'm going to mark my king stud. So now I have my door opening established center of my wall. And that's 
first. Anytime you have an opening in a wall, you put in, you mark your opening first, then you lay your wall out. So I'm going to double check this, and I'll show you that from inside jack stud to inside jack stud on my layout right now, I've got 38 and an eighth. But it's supposed to be 38 inches. Well, that's fine. I got it one eighth of an inch extra. That's fine. No big deal. Now, to find my header length that's going to sit on top of my jack studs, I go from king stud to king stud. Basically, it's your jack measurement or your rough opening measure, measurement plus three inches. So that would be 38, 38 and a quarter or an eighth plus three inches, which is going to be 41 and an eighth. And that would be the length of my header. 